So per request, I'm going to do two blockbuster trades for the San Diego Padres, one of the Uber Elite teams in the National League. And there are three Uber Elite teams in the National League West. The Padres are one, the Dodgers are another, and the San Francisco Giants are actually the best of the three right now. They have the best record in baseball. And I would, I, who would have thunk? I would not have thunk. They don't have the star power that those other teams have, but they're playing amazing baseball. Got a, you know, a good amount of crafty veterans and young players, and they're just playing really, really, really well. And um, so, but the, I think the Padres are still uh, in need of a move or two. And these two trades, the two I consider them blockbusters, represent need-based moves for the Padres. So, the first one is the more low-key one, but still could potentially impactful. They trade with the Texas Rangers, and they acquire Kyle Gibson as an additional rotation piece. He's not a free agent until 2023. And Ian Kennedy, another veteran reliever, uh, to give them bullpen depth. They've had a couple injuries recently. And um, I think, you know, Kennedy and Kyle Gibson will give them some more depth on both ends there. And also another guy to potentially shut down some of these and neutralize some of these other not NL teams. So um, in exchange, they'd be given uh, Justin Lang, who's their number six prospect, the right-hand pitcher. Mason Thompson, their number 10 prospect, another right-handed pitcher. And Jagger Haynes, who's their number 13 prospect, a left-handed a left -hand pitcher. The Padres system is absolutely loaded with pitching prospects. Loaded, loaded, loaded. So these are three in the top 13. They'd be getting, again, you know, a proven major league starter and a proven major league reliever. So I think it would. this would be probably a, a minimum. Uh, but I think this is a solid package that represents... The type of need. Could they possibly get him for less? Maybe. Maybe two top seven picks or something like that. But I consider three in the top 13 with the top being number six. A pretty solid return. And again, they're getting guys that they could plug in immediately in their, in their quest for a world championship this year. And next year. So that's trade number one. The second one is a little bit of a bigger one. This is a Pirates. Pirates trade. So trading within the same league. So they'd be acquiring super duper reliever Rich Rodriguez and Adam Frazier, multi positional utility guy, who can give them a versatility. And he would actually be a, pr a perfect like number two hitter on this team, but he, they would get those two guys, and that's an Uber package for uh, Robert Hassel, who's their number four prospect and outfielder. They're gonna have to give up at least that. Uh, Tucapito Mar Marcuro. Uh, Marcano, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that right. Their number five prospect, he's an infielder. And Reggie Lawson, their number seven prospect, the right-handed pitcher. There's no way they're going to get Rich Rodriguez and Adam Frazier without giving up two top fives. I just can't see it. So, and here, here you're, giving, you're giving three top sevens. And this is representative of that package. And again, this is an elite uh, return for the Padres. Super reliever, Rich Rodriguez, and Adam Frazier, who can play multiple positions, gives them versatility, and allows them, you know, gives them a lot more flexibility. And he is on fire right now. He doesn't strike out a lot, so he's perfect for that lineup, perfect for that team, perfect on the field for this team. So that right there, that's a blockbuster. They could do that. I mean, the, the, the Mongo package would be Rich Rodriguez and Brian Reynolds, but it doesn't sound like Brian Reynolds is going to be available unless they blow them away. With a, with a return, and Brian Reynolds seems to be the, with him and uh, Brian Hayes, he's like the crown jewel of the Pirates system, and uh, they had the number one pick in the draft as well, and they picked the catcher, so they, they're really, really loading up on super duper people, and um, and so, but I, I could see them getting a Rich Rodriguez and an Adam Frazier, and that would be, that would make them super duper lead. With that trade, I think that could make them uh, co-favorites or at least favorites in the National League to get to the World Series. That, I think, would be enough to be the Giants and the Dodgers. So, let me know what you think of these two trades. And again, you know, I, and again, what's crazy is that even the more low-key trade with the Rangers um, could be a more impactful trade than the one with the Pirates. You never really know. You never really know. Just because it's superstar loaded package doesn't mean it's going to be super duper impact. And some of the more Mid middle of the line, kind of low key under the radar trades have been very very impactful for teams all across baseball. But I think that package with uh, you know uh, Rodriguez and, and Frazier would be a uh, would be a very very potent get for the Padres. These guys are reliable players. They're consistent. They're elite, and um, I think it's what the Padres need at this point to get them over the top. So. 
Um, you let me know what you think. If, are there any other trades that you think might uh, benefit the Padres? Is this close? Is it far? You know, let me know. You give, give me your ideas. So, um, you know, I want to know what you think because they, they're it, they're an exciting and a fun team to watch. I'll tell you that much. So, and uh, you know, the the next they're one of their rivals, and the, I mentioned already the Giants. That's going to be the next video I do in terms of a couple of blockbuster trades. What do they need to put them, put them not only put them over the top but keep them over the top because they're right at the top right now. So be on the lookout for that one. Talk to you next time.